morning everyone. I'm heading to Homestead 2. My name is Dale Dufay. Uh, I'm alone again because I'm going to work after I stop here and check everything out. But I just couldn't help but notice that, uh, you know, I mean, look at their really geoengineering today. I mean, it's like over the east horizon as the sun rises. It's Friday morning here. I believe it's the 21st of October in Southwest Michigan, in South Haven. So it's like unbelievable how there. I mean, when you, you know, that's not usually what we talk much about, but when you're talking about geoengineering, there's no really like massive ge geoengineering or ultra geoengineering. It just doesn't get any bigger than that because geo you have to understand means global. So this is global engineering that they're doing. And they're not telling anybody about it. I mean, it's, it's clearly, those are not chemtrails. I mean, sorry, condensation trails, contrails. I don't like to use the word chemtrails, but it's basically geoengineering at work. And again, it doesn't get any bigger than that. That's the, you know, that, as far as engineering goes, uh, global engineering, my friends, that's what this is. This is. You can see it going on everywhere. You see highlights of the war going on in Ukraine, and, and no matter where, uh, it is going on overhead. And it seems like most people are oblivious to it. Now, uh, forgive me for doing this while I'm driving, but uh, this is a real safe road. The only thing really I have to worry about is deer, and I've been keeping my eye out, of course, for that. But I just wanted to make sure, you know, to show you this geoengineering going on here. It's crazy. Uh, so something's up. I think they're they they think that they're saving the world. So you can't blame the pilots that are doing it. Uh, and the thing is, is they it's, they're trying to save us from something, and I wonder what it is. It probably has something to do with it. Sun. But here I am, I arriving at Homestead 2 here, pulling in. It looks, the thing looks tight. I gotta make sure I feed the cats. So maybe uh, you can come along with that. Come along. I'm sorry about holding the camera and stuff funny. But I just wanted to really touch on that. You know that the geoengineering aspect of what's going on here. Uh, so let's get inside and get the cats fed. I'm sure, yep, they're out. I hear Chatty Patty, or that could be Crooked Tail. You can tell a Crooked Tail's got a real, of course, the tail thing, but she's also got a really broad nose. Yeah, yep, that's Crooked Tail. She's got something wrong with her tip of her tail, but see something wrong with her nose too. But uh, don't worry, there's, oh, there's Chatty Patty. How you doing, Chatty Patty? I'm gonna go get your food, you guys, okay? So, uh, you know, bear with me here. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to touch base on that, you know, the geoengineering. I know Mary talks about it quite a bit on her channel. Uh, Chatty Patty wants to come inside, but I can't let her inside. So, you can't come inside, girl. Yeah, you got, she's got, no doubt has everything imaginable that can happen with a feral cat as far as medical things. Oops, there she goes. But here I am, I'm not, not I don't know if I'm gonna turn a light on, but if I need to, but I just arrived, everything seems to be okay. I'm gonna turn the heat off because we don't need it on for today, but it's relatively warm in here. I gotta fix the camera too. I point it upwards more. We got a security camera here. And it's going off because I'm in here, of course. But I think we bumped it the other day because Mary was cleaning up and doing, a, you know, cleaning up the studs and everything. So let me get the cats taken care of. What I usually do is I just grab a plate here and fill it with the, put about three cups of food in there for them. Uh, so, I was going to do a video about, you know, where where I'm working at and the stuff I did over there. So, I might just do that uh, 
here today or tomorrow. But Mary and I are going to come back to work here tomorrow. We're going to order the kitchen cabinets at Home Depot. We're all excited about that. We're trying to get the go ahead to do it. The landlord postponed it because he thought he can find a better can, you know, better cabinets for us. But they were used, and I and I kind of made a fuss about it because I don't want to use uh, used cabinets, you know. No matter, I don't care how nice they are, you know what I mean? So here we go. All right, here we got their food. Guys, coming. Hi, girls. How you doing? Of course, they want to walk right in front of me. <laughs> there she, there she. Wait, no, don't trip me. <laughs> Just rubbing on everything. Here, girls. I don't see itty bitty. I was hoping to see itty bitty. Because uh, she came running up to me yesterday. Here, girl. Wow, I got to empty their plate, their bowl first. It's so dirty. They get the dirt in it and they try to bury it. Here you guys go. And I'll leave a little bit over here. Itty bitty. So, wow. Yeah, let me see if we can see some of that geoengineering going on here. It's the sun starting to come out. But even all that, you know. Even that, like, they call it filtered sunshine now. But look at that trail there. Look at that one's fresh. Um, those are not condensation trails. There's no way, because uh, condensation dissipates immediately. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know why people seem to be, like, so oblivious to it, you know. So anyway, I'm going to cut this video now it's going on seven minutes, so thank you for watching, and we'll talk at you later. Love you.